Hi guys, it's Erin for the Red Carpet Report and today we are at the 2012 Media Access Awards focusing on disability awareness and inclusion in the entertainment industry. So nice to meet you. Very nice to meet so you. So can you tell us to some of our viewers out there why it's important, why the Media um, Awards? Well, the Media Access Awards are all about inclusion for talented people with disabilities in the media. I've been involved for 30 years with this group. And, uh, you know, it's not about, oh, they're special or this. You have to have talent and, and make the magic as an actor or a singer or a dancer. But there are a lot of extra obstacles for people with disabilities. And we're trying to uh, even the playing field a little bit. And today's event is, I remember, Years ago when it was like three or four people and a cup of coffee and today we're at the Beverly Hilton and we've got Jimmy Kimmel as our host and just a lot of great people. So I'm excited that, uh, you know, that it's going to spread and through things like you're doing, more people will know about it. Yeah, I was going to ask you, how can people get more involved in this to make this a bigger deal? Well, I would always check the media access office is located here in town. And if, if you're a young person or an, an actor with a disability, call Gloria at the Media Access Office. I'm sorry, I don't have the number off the top of my head. But uh, also, get involved at whatever level you're at. Elementary school, junior, middle school, high school, community theater. You know, if somebody's not paying you to be a professional, then do it for free, but do it. And, you know, it's somebody told me years ago, Actors act, musicians play, dancers dance. It's so, it sounds so simple, but it's so true. You have to have a commitment and a focus, and the things that would deter other people have to inspire you. So, yeah. that, well, who, ins who inspires you? I mean, do you, do you go out in the community and talk to other folks with disabilities? There are, you know, it's funny. I, I'm inspired by all kinds of people, famous and otherwise. My, my favorite actors, were growing up were Henry Fonda and people like that, Jack Lemon. But I, I love Kevin Spacey. There are actors in theater companies I've been in who you may not have heard of, John Machalski, Lane Davies, uh, Terry Marinan. There are people that gave me a break in theater or or just said, I don't care that you walk on artificial legs. You're gonna get out there, learn your lines, and they demanded a certain level of me and then I, I just stuck with it, you know. One last, one last question for you. What's your advice for, for maybe young people who are, are struggling with their own challenges um, about wanting to chase their dreams of being in this business? What's your advice to them? Well, look inside yourself and decide if this is really for you. You know, it's not for everybody, but if you can honestly say, this is what I have to do, then, you know, nothing is going to stop you. You know, it's a... Uh, People will say, oh, you shouldn't. You know, people told, I worked in radio, and people said, well, it's safe there. You should stay there. You can't do what's safe. You have to take risks. And uh, I'd say calculated risks are really important. That's great advice. And we adore you and admire you for your work. I, I, and thank you so much for the opportunity. You're such a fan. Thank you very much.